All right, welcome back, folks. Today we're going to install N8N. It's an automation platform. Go to N8N.io if you don't know what it is. We're going to install it in Azure on a virtual machine with a Docker installed. And we're going to expose it to the internet via a Cloudflare tunnel. So first things first, let's build the VM. This is the code I'm going to use. Um, you shouldn't really have to change anything below the parameters here. Change these to fit your needs. So I'm just going to dot source. That PowerShell script. It's going to look for an SSH key, which I already have one there. If you don't have one, it'll build, it'll create one for you. And this will take a couple minutes. All right, looks like the VM created okay. All right, so now we can SSH into this VM. And as you can see, I'm using a non-routable IP address. I have a VPN set up to my Azure environment. So we're going to go through. All right, updates installed. We're going to use this bit of code to install Docker. This is straight from the Docker documents. Okay, Docker should be good to go. I'm going to use this bit of code to add my user to the Docker group and then reboot. Okay, looks like we're restarted already. This bit of code is going to make sure Docker starts in the event of a reboot. Okay, I'm going to go there. Now we're going to configure the Cloudflare tunnel. If you go to Cloudflare, let's go back to the, the home page. You'll need a domain name that's already in here. And that's really it. Um, go to Zero Trust. If this is the first time you're doing this, it's going to ask you for a credit card. It's not going to cost you anything, but they ask you to put it on file anyway. So, all right, we're going to go to networks, tunnels, add a tunnel. We're going to use Cloudflare. Name it whatever you want to name it. We're going to use the Docker installation and copy this bit of code here. And we'll just take this over here. All right, let's get this tunnel configured completely in Cloudflare. Hit next. This is where you're going to configure your domain. I'm going to use a subdomain for N8N. You don't necessarily have to use a subdomain. The important part here is the service type. This is going to be an HTTP and it's going to be at 10.0.30.5.5678. So that's the IP address of my virtual machine in Azure. And that's good there. Successful. You can see it's inactive at this point. Let's go back to our code. Now this is what we copied from Cloudflare. I'm going to make a couple of changes here before I run it. Just going to give it a name. And 
and configure the restart options. So we make sure it starts if we have to reboot. Okay, now we can copy this. Go back to our VM. Just paste that in there. Hit go. It's pulling the image from the uh, Docker Hub. So that should be good. Let's go Docker PS. Make sure it's there and running. Okay, good to go there. Let's check the tunnel. Refresh. And you see we're healthy. So tunnel should be good to go at this point. All right, so we have Cloudflare container. We have our tunnel configured. I'm going to install Portainer as well. This is not necessarily uh, needed to get NAN running. It's just a GUI interface to manage containers. This code is straight out of the Portainer documentation. So it's going to pull the image. And in theory, it started the container. So if we go back to the web, we should. Nine, four, four, three. Okay, there's our portainer instance. Create your username. Okay, so there's portainer. You can view what containers are running on this VM. So that's kind of a, an extra step you don't necessarily have to go through. Now we're going to clone the N8N AI starter kit. Take a look at this repo. This is where all the code is. I use this particular um, package because it gives you access to Olama locally, Quadrant, Postgres, and something else I'm missing. So I'm going to copy that bit of code, go over here to my virtual machine. Okay, so good to go there. The next thing we have to do is configure our webhook URL in the env file. This is for some APIs like Google APIs. If you have to want to use those in N8N, it needs a custom callback URL. So this is, you could use this code, change the URL if you wanted to. So we're going to go back to our virtual machine and nano.env. Delete all this. If I can figure out how to use delete. Copy in with our webhook URL, control S, control X. So that should be saved and good to go. Now we can build the uh, NAN containers with Quadrant and all that stuff. This is how I run it. There are a few different profiles in this AI starter kit. I use the CPU. If you have a VM with GPU, you can use the GPU option or you can start it without the ability to run a local LLM. And actually, I don't ever use it really. I just use APIs, typically. All right, so all those are pulling down. And we'll wait here for a second and let that finish and go from there. All right, looks like everything started. So one thing to take note of is the URL here. That's what we configured in the env file. So if this shows up 
once everything is uh, running, you should be good to go. Let's go to the browser. Okay, we can see NAN is running, uh, but it doesn't want to uh, run without a, a SSL cert using that IP address. The only way you can get in here without an SSL cert is with via localhost. So if I use my custom URL, okay, so good to go from here. So far, so good. One other thing we need to check. Okay, so this is the baseline demo. Just click on this workflow and what we want to check is to make sure our web hook, our OAuth callback URL is saved correctly. I think it is because it showed it on the screen there. If you can just check any of the Google nodes. And this is what we're looking for, this callback URL to be the same as our in an instance. All right, so that looks good. There you have. So that's it as far as a basic installation of N8N. It took me a while to kind of figure out how to do this. I don't know a whole lot about how to use N8N yet. This was kind of my first step. Uh, this is the easiest way I could find to do it. So hopefully this is helpful, helpful for some of you guys. Probably make some more videos on N8N as I kind of figure it out. So appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.